Greetings everyone, my name is Pablo Cabrera and I work as a cloud integration developer at MuleSoft. In this occasion I'll be explaining how to make a Mule Studio application using the Cassandra DB Connector. In order to build and run this application, you will need a Mule Studio, the Cassandra DB Connector, and have access or installed a Cassandra DB server. Let's start by adding a key space. In order to do this, we need to configure an HTT endpoint. We're going to add the path and the name of the operation. Now we add the connector. We need to configure it. I'm going to use this one. As you can see, we need to specify a dummy name. And I have my Cassandra DB server running on the localhost in port 9160. We're going to connect to the default key space that is system. And now we're going to add the key space. In this case, I just want to specify the key space name. So we are going to get that from the message. And for that we are going to use a key space para. And we are going to set a simple message. Now we start the application. Right now, as you see, I can. This is a Cassandra DB client. I want to add the new user key space. As you can see, the key space is not there. So now, well, I configure the URL to hit Cassandra and add the key space. And the key space name will be the one I just query about. As you can see, we get the message, and if we go to our client and make the same operation, we see that the key space exists and it was added with the default values. Now, let me show you a more complex application and how to add a column family to our new created key space. To do this, I already configured the HTTP endpoint. And I specified that, well, we will get the name from the message and also the key space where this column family will be added. Now, if we go to our browser, we can specify the key space where this column will be added and the name. In this case, I will be used just the user data name. As you can see, the column family was added and this is the key for the new schema. If we check out the client, the schema of the new user key space, we can see that the column family was added. Now, in order to add some data into it, we're going to use the add, the insert or update, sorry, operation. In this case, we need to specify a column name, the column parent name, in this case, the user data we just created, the value, and the key for the row. If the key that doesn't exist, this will be inserted. The endpoint is going to be Cassandra insert. So, let me show you how to add it. As you can see, we specify the values, So we are going to add a column name with the value new user. And the value was inserted. And we also are going to add to the same key a password column with the values one, two, three. 
in order to retrieve the data we just created, we're going to use the get slice operation. The get data, as you can see here, only retrieves one value, but we want to get the whole definition. This is the method, as you can see this is the path, and we need to specify the column parent and the key. In this case, the user data and the key is going to be number one. I already prepared this and as you can see we get the values we just inserted. For detailed information on the cloud connector operations check the available documentation at the GitHub repository. There's also a demo that covers all the operations related to this connector. Thanks for watching.